Hey everybody, we are at Lake Havasu. This is the London Bridge behind us uh, in Arizona, um, actually. Um, believe it or not, as weird as it sounds um, that the London Bridge would be here in Arizona. But it is, and uh, we'll show you around Lake Havasu. Hey, Lake Havasu um, is like a spring break water sport uh, um, mecca, so to speak. Um, it is um, sandwiched between Arizona and California, so you have all like the the high income people in California um, looking for somewhere to pretty much just go and, and party. And you can see this is the channel um, that goes to the London Bridge, um, and on the right hand side is the island, and the left hand side is the main um, part of Arizona. And this is a regular weekend that we're here. I was told that uh, if you come like on a particular like spring break type weekend, um, there's so many boats packed in here that you can't really even get to the channel. And if you go over to the, the Granite Cove um, where we went on this boat ride, um, you can walk across um, the bay or whatever because there's like the boats are all like packed in. Um, they do crazy like 4th of July here and is, this is just like, like party, party, party boat mecca. Um, of course, you know, it's a gigantic lake, so that's that's the thing. Happy Easter! Happy Easter! Happy Easter! Hey guys, so this is probably my favorite sites in the campground. Um, so these sites here look right over Lake Havasu. Um, however, they are Class A only, unfortunately, um, because you have to pull forward so you hook up on the left-hand side instead of the right-hand side. Um, they're not designed for backing in. Um, but anyway, um, you can see there's one um, Super C here. Last night it was all like Class A's and Super C's, um, but they're completely concrete. They got the patios. Um, you can overlook these mountainous um, mountains um, that are in California, because that's California over there. This is Arizona. Um, and then, look, not only that, they have boat moorings, um, so you can pull your boat up. Um, I mean, how perfect is that? You know, you got your, your motorhome, you got your Jeep, you got your your boat and you got the gigantic lake right here and then the little walkway to get to it. Um, just absolutely stunning and amazing and I wish I could be in this site um, but I totally get the fact that uh, we would have to be backwards um, but anyway um, really really cool um, then right around us is basically all these like little tiny cottages cabbage cabin things um, that have I don't know I think they're um, I don't think that they're rentals I think that people own them because I saw like a for sale sign on one of them. But most of them, um, if you look, will have like what looks like two driveways. See, there's like one there and one there. Um, really, what it is, it's like one's your patio for you to do like your barbecuing on and everything that's covered. And then the other one is where you park your truck. Um, or if you're like these people here, you just eat breakfast on your uh, patio and you put your side by side in one and then the truck in the other. Or your golf cart or like I said, I mean, this place is uh, wicked awesome. Um, so let's uh, go check out our camper. It's not quite as um, crazy as uh, this particular area. And then uh, we'll look around the campground and see what else we can find. Hey guys, so we have a plain Jane kind of regular site here. Um, nothing too fancy. And uh, you can see that they have basically a road here with a um, bunch of campers. And then a road going in the other direction with a bunch of campers. And they're all back in. Um, on this side, the center row um, is pull through, and then those are back in over there also. And you can see they're all pretty much lined up with the road. Some of them actually overhang um, into this gutter, like the Class A up there, um, but most of them actually fit um, behind the gutter. So I don't know how far forward they let you go. We're 39 and a half feet long, um, and we're all the way to the back of the side, and there's like this retaining wall kind of thing, so we can't really go back any further. Um, and you can see maybe maybe 45 will fit in here maybe like if, if it really kind of sits over the gutter like the other people are i mean anyway so like i said it's it's a pretty normal site it's wide it's super super wide look how wide the site is we have like a patio here we put the awning out the truck is next to us um the other campers there um this is super super wide site um way wider than they normally are um but there is a reason for that um and the reason for that is even if we walk over to this travel trail, you'll see they have jet skis, they have a boat, they have a canopy with two trucks next to their camper. Isn't that like gigantic? They have a truck with a boat next to theirs. They have a truck and a side-by-side. -side. 
it's like everybody here has side by sides and truck and uh, boats it's like pretty 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 amazing um i would say the pull throughs would probably be the most starling friendly ones um north is in this direction or if you could get closer to lake havasu on um, that other road on this way um on this road there are trees um so it's kind of going to be hit or miss on the starlink um, probably more more of a, a miss um it's full hookup um there's a little kind of concrete pad here um, but that's enough about about our site um let me um kind of just kind of show you some other stuff all right i didn't go very far um well, yeah our camper's like right there um so anyway um the um here's pull through site if you want to see what one looks like and uh, there's one here there's one there or uh, there's one there and there's one here so this is two pull through sites even though um i almost thought it was four it was so dang big yeah it's two pull through sites and you can tell because there's a pedestal there there's a pedestal there and that pedestal's in use so um, yeah, this, and that's the same width as our, because I mean, it is so wide, it's so wide, it's amazing. But anyway, it's a pull-through side, it's gravel, it's a small concrete pad, just like ours. Um, and then, in the ground, to be aware of, um, I'm looking, 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 and I'm not seeing, there are these little, um, like, they're like poles, with like caps on them, and the poles with caps on them are for these awnings. Um, I don't know how the awnings work, um, like if you can rent them from here, but it seems like almost every site that I've been in or I've looked at has had these poles in the ground um, and it's set up for awning um, so that's kind of kind of different there are lots and lots and lots of long-term people here um, but this place feels very 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 extremely resort like um, sometimes you go to campgrounds and they just feel kind of like running on the mill sometimes you go to campgrounds they feel kind of like dirty. Sometimes it's just you can tell people it's just somewhere where somebody lives and they don't care. But this place is really, really clean, really, really immaculate. And it's like everybody's here to party. That's what it comes down to. Um, you see like, there's e-bikes left out everywhere. I mean, no locks or nothing. Um, more e-bikes, more e-bikes, boats, side-by-sides, golf carts, all this kind of cool stuff everywhere. Um, so tons of, tons of money, I, um, I would say. Um, that people have here.